Over 130 fishermen from Honduras detained in Jamaica for illegally fishing on the Pedro Banks off the coast of Jamaica have pleaded guilty and now face fines and continued detention. The men were intercepted on December 11th when J the Jamaica Coast Guard noticed smoke from a vessel in the country's exclusive economic zone. The boat was reportedly leaving Port Royal near the Kingston Harbor. Jamaican officials ordered the boat to stop, but instead of complying, the captain reportedly responded, We are poor people, let us go home. A smaller boat was deployed in an unsuccessful attempt to intercept the Honduran vessel, and a short chase ensued, which ended with the Coast Guard firing warning shots at the unauthorized fishers until they were finally able to board the vessel. Once on board, officers found a compressor, diving and other fishing equipment, as well as five two-pound fish. For their small catch, the men were detained in custody until December 23rd, when according to the Jamaica Observer, the 131 Hondurans, including five 17-year-olds, appeared before the court and entered guilty pleas. The minors were admonished and discharged, while the 126 others were fined 40,000 Jamaican dollars, approximately 261 US dollars each. Failure to pay will result in a prison sentence of two months. The boat's helmsman was fined an additional $150,000 in local currency, or three months in prison, for damage to the Jamaica Defense Force Coast Guard vessel that was damaged in the chase, while the captain also received an enhanced fine. The observer reports that he was additionally charged with disobeying the command of a Marine officer under Jamaica's Exclusive Economic Zone Act. The men will reportedly remain in detention until the fines are paid. However, they will not be deported afterwards. Director of Public Prosecutions Ruth Ann Robinson told the Observer that, that the decision to not to charge the men with illegal entry was a, quote, balancing act, taking into account the resources which would have been required to keep over 100 people in detention. Therefore, once their sentences have been satisfied, the Hondurans will be able to leave on their ship. The fishing connection between Jamaica and Honduras stretches back years. In July 2021, 10 Honduran fishers were rescued after their boat encountered difficulties and capsized as they were on their way from Roatan to Port Royal for the lobster season. In 2011, tensions between Honduras and Jamaica flared after Jamaican security forces fired upon a boat off the coast of Pedro Case, killing the captain and wounding the two crew on board. At the time, the head of the Honduran Navy, Rear Admiral Juan Pablo Rodriguez, said the Jamaican Coast Guard officers used excessive force. And in 2005, a similar incident to that of earlier this month. 115 Honduran fishers were deported on December 23rd of that year, two weeks after Jamaican Coast Guard officers apprehended them catching lobster illegally in the vicinity of Pedro Case.